In sports, there are plenty of jobs that we take for granted when going to a game, one of which, the voice that makes a ballpark feel special. And for Biscuits fans, they've heard that same one since the team's inception. Designated hitter number 13, Joe Mack. Nobody has spent more time in the Riverwalk Stadium press box than Rick Hendrick, who just like the team is in his 20th season as the public address announcer for the Montgomery Biscuits. There's a lot happening in the ballpark and it's all part of the of the game day experience. After a full shift of on air radio during the day, Hendrick is just halfway done with his work day when the butter and blue are at home. Some might say it's crazy, but for him, it's the perfect job. I love baseball. I absolutely love baseball, but being a radio guy and being able to sit in front of a microphone and, and read stuff all night long, that's, that's where I'm at home. And whether there's 700 people in the ballpark or 7,000 people in the ballpark, the way I read and the way I present is the same way. Third base number 13, Willie Vasquez. It's like funny for me, even when I hear him on the radio when I'm driving down, I like immediately think of his voice being at the ballpark. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing to, for him to have been here for the entire time, all 20 years of, of Biscuits baseball. And um, you know, he just does a phenomenal job. And I think our, our fans really appreciate him. Four, it's one, two. Whether it's singing the seventh inning stretch or reacting to fans dancing in between innings, Hendrick says he loves every part of a baseball game However, he doesn't take the fan support for granted. I don't want anybody to, to walk in for their first time and not walk away impressed. And I feel like my voice talking to them all nine innings long is also a part of that. So I want to make sure they leave here not thinking, well, you know, who was that guy? They want, they want to leave here thinking, man, that was awesome. But if I would have told you when you got that job in 2004 that you'd still be doing it today, would you believe me? Um, I would because, you know, one, once I start, something uh, I want to make sure I complete it and I want to make sure that I stick with it and I give it everything I've got 110 percent and I don't really think about the number of years until stuff like this happens and people you know make it a, a note to say you realize you've been doing this for 20 years and I look back on it and I'm thinking well yeah but it's been a part of my life for 20 years so sometimes it doesn't even feel like 20 years three, three, four, three, two, three, two, two. Rick also told me his favorite moments have been the championships, so who knows, maybe they'll bring home another to commemorate his 20th season.